Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. How you doing, Timsters? How you doing? First of all, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love. You know, I know I haven't been doing a lot of reviews, but, you know, I am getting to that, and that's what I'm about to work on today. Today, we have a DC multiverse, the Joker Titan. Now, I picked this figure up a while back. This one is one that I'm not going to open. If you notice, his eyes are kind of to the side. You know, I'm kind of figuring, you know, with McFarlane figures, they are starting to put the eyes where they like moving to the side or something. You notice he has blood and guts all over him and everything like that. This looks pretty cool. You know, I was wondering if anything in there besides the stand. And, you know, I don't know too much about, you know, Joker Titan. You know, I picked it up because I thought it was a figure that I would like. My wife said one, you know, stipulation with this figure right here. She said, hey, you're not able to open this and put it out. She said, because damn, that thing scares me because it looks, it looks, <laughs> it looks vicious. And I was tripping out. You know, the thing is, when I bought this figure, I bought it from a Target and the Target really didn't have anything. But I looked on the shelf and I actually seen it sitting on the shelf. I picked it up and the guy said, you buying that? You buying it. It's in my hand. I had it in my hand. I was walking off. I was scanning it, check the price. The price was everything I wanted it to be. You know, it's $39.99 right now. You can find this at GameStop for I think $33.99 or $36.99 because GameStop was having a sale. And uh, when I bought this, um, I think I bought this like last month sometime. You know, it was, or the month before I bought it and, you know, I showed it in the group and I was like, hey, you know, this is what I picked up. And, you know, and people were like, man, you know, the reason why I like this figure, just to say a few things about it, it's different. It doesn't look like all the other Jokers. You know, I, I understand it's another Joker. You know, I got like one, two, uh... I think I got like three or four jokers back there. But again, would this one be the fifth one? I'm gonna say something again, family. If this if the figure speaks to you, get it. If it don't, don't get it. This one spoke to me. You know, not like it said, hey, buy me. No, nothing like that. I like the colors of it. I like, you know, the way it looked. I like the pants. When I got it, it it made me remember, you know, how I was a big fan of the incredible hawk, how he used to wear those purple pants and you know and all of that you know whereas you know they were ripped up and you know he was like dun, 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 dun. and you know that's what I looked at I looked at the figure and I don't know if I want clay face or not but see the thing that gets me is the head scope looked at the eyes this guy on um it was one of these Facebook groups that I'm in he customized this figure and he made this figure look even more darker and I mean, man, I was like, man, I'd be scared to have that damn thing displayed. It looked like it's going to get you or something, you know. But family, that's the thing. You know, that's the thing about collecting. Collecting sometimes, it brings out the best and sometimes it brings out the worst thing. You get the chance to see all the amazing things that you can get in the process. And that was one of the processes when I got this. You know, I was looking at the articulation of the arms. Look at the arms. You notice that there's a gap there. Whereas that it could go up, down, around. And look at the ways how it can go bend up and down. You got the knees. Look at the arms, how that bend there is. Where that, you know, you see the sockets. You see where it could bend up. You know, one thing about these figures. Then you can see the feet inside. They're gigantic. And, you know, that's the thing. Things are different. Collecting has become something different. It's not what it used to be. It's not, you know, stigmatized. You're not looked at as some sort of freak or some weirdo, some nerd. You just looked at somebody who collects now. And that's the thing that I like about the way how this community is moving and how, you know, everybody is being situated here. Because it's now where it's, it's okay to be a geek. It's okay to have hobbies. It's okay to have something just for you. Now, again, at the end of the day, you got to have something that you're into, something that piques your interest, something that brings you joy. It got to be a joy outside of your family. 
Your joy just can't be your family. But to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.